I don't make... No, I do make the rules. You don't. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Okay, can you open the door? I finished it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I'm trying to find anywhere where the natural light is hitting me, but <laughs> it's so dark outside today. Girl. Fan. Light. Fan. Light. Hello everyone. Hello! I hope you are well, I hope you're good, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're doing something very important. <laughs> so, so far in 2020, I almost said 2019, it still doesn't feel like it's 2020 to me. So far in 2020, I've read a total of 29 books, it is the 9th of March today for me. And yeah, 29 books is crazy. Like so that's only 11 off of half of what I read last year. So if I could read 11 more books in March, I don't know if I'll do that, but if I could, then that'll put me at half of what I read last year in three months, which and that would be great. Let's just be honest, that'd be so good. But although I have read lots of books, I haven't had a lot of five star reads. Um, I think I've only had how many? Six of those are five stars, which for some people might be a lot, but it's not really for me. Usually I have quite a lot of five stars and uh, four of those have been either the Illuminae series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff or the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman. So um, <laughs> it's been, from, you know, four of them have been from one of those series. There's only two other books that I've given five stars. So what I thought we would do today is read the three highest rated books on my TBR. Usually I do tend to agree with some of Goodreads ratings, not always. Sometimes I'm like, you're chatting shit. But <laughs> I think that more often than not, if a lot of people are enjoying a book, then you will probably enjoy it too. So I feel like I'm in a really weird focus, but I'm trying not to show you the laundry because it's laundry day. I feel like it's always laundry day when I'm filming. Should we just go back a bit? Cause you are very close. That's better, isn't it? Sorry, you were, you were very intimate. <laughs> so what I've done is I've got up my Goodreads shelf. Apologies if my laptop is dirty. I always say every day that I need to clean it and yet I never do. And here I am putting it online. <laughs> so um, I've got my want to read up. And at the moment I just got it sorted by date. The reason I got it so zoomed in is that when I sort it by rating, um, I'll only be able to see the first book and then we'll react to each one individually. So I'm going to sort it by average rating. So my prediction is what's going to come up. I think there's going to be something that's part of a series because I think when people, people tend to only carry on a series if they enjoy it. And so like the third book in a series or second book in a series tends to always be higher rated because it's only the people who have liked the rest of the series that have continued on with it. So I think there's going to be something from a series on there. And I think The Nightingale by Kristen Hannah is going to come up because I own that. I just like slapped my legs so hard it shook you. Um, <laughs> I think The Nightingale is going to come up because every video I watch where people have to read the highest rated books on TBR, granted some of them are older videos, but I think it's still got a pretty high rating. So that's my prediction. Okay, what's the first one? Oh. Um. So the first book that comes up is Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman. This was kindly sent to be my Rachel from Rachel Marie's Book Journey. You should definitely go subscribe to her if you haven't already. I adore her, as we all know. I'm so happy I get to read this! <laughs> if you don't know, Heartstopper, the graphic novel, is... Oh my god, just looking at them! It's one of my favourite series. I've given both one and two five star, obviously this year, and I am obsessed with it. Any time I can recommend this to any of you, I'm like, you have to go read it. Don't be scared off by the fact that it's a graphic novel. Spend your money on it because it's worth it. You'll want to read it like 500 times. I cannot wait till I go home um, and volume one is there and I'm going to reread them all because it's just the best. <laughs> This is a rating of 4.7, which is crazy. That means most people are given this five stars. A rating of 4.7 to me is unheard of. Like no one is out here getting a 4.7 rating on, you know, it's just crazy. That fills me with a lot of hope that this will be a favorite for me too again. I don't see how it won't be because I've loved all of it so far. Let's scroll down. Okay. 
I feel like I just know what's gonna come up. So I guess correctly, the next book that comes up with a rating of 4.57, which is still extremely high, is The Nightingale by Christian Hanna. I love I don't know if you can really see it, but I love the edge of this. It's so pretty. So this is set during World War II, I believe. And it's the story of two sisters. I don't really know much more of it than that. Oh my God, the font is tiny. Who do you think you are? So do you think I deserve better than that? Yes. What? I just wanted it because everyone hyped it up and I feel like it would be a book that I would enjoy. This is the one I'm most nervous about out of, well, I don't know what number three is yet, so how can I say that? <laughs> but I'm nervous about reading this and not liking it because everyone else loves it. Whereas Heartstopper, I just know I'm gonna love, and I'm kind of like, oh, this is a free pass for this to come up. But this is a bit nerve wracking. Oh, you are kidding me. You are, act you are actually kidding me. <laughs> okay, so can we guess what number three is? <laughs> I was right when I said it would be a series. <laughs> so third on the list with a rating of 4.54 is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I want to read five stars other than the Illuminate series and Heartstopper. And Illuminate series and Heartstopper are two out of the three of what I'm reading. For those of you who don't know, this is a kind of science fiction, verging on horror, verging on... I don't even know, this is, it's a mesh of so many different things. And it's told through multimedia formats. So you have emails, you have online chats, you have ship uh, maps, you have uh, surveillance cameras. It's told through all these different elements. I adore number one and two. It's one of the best series I've ever read. Illuminae was the first book I read this year and I think it's gonna be one of my favorites. I have no idea where we're going in this one. Each of the series follows different characters, but kind of semi-related characters. These are the three books I'm gonna be reading in this video. They look quite bulky all together, don't they? That looks a bit scary, but I mean, obviously Heartstopper won't take me that long. It'll probably take me a day. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read Obsidio first, just because I'm very excited to get to finish this series and I wanna read Heartstopper in the middle to keep me going, to keep my momentum going, because I feel like I might flag a bit during the middle of the video or something, so. Um, hopefully by reading Heartstop in the middle it will keep the pace going and then we'll finish with The Nightingale which is the one I'm most nervous about which is why I'm putting it off till the end. <laughs> I ended up lying down reading this. Um, and I don't want to sit up, so I'm filming like this. <laughs> I've only read to page 27 in 25 minutes. Um, and usually this book I read quicker than that, but I had to keep looking stuff up just to remember who everyone was um, and what particularly places were because in this in this series you have a lot of um, planet names, you have a lot of ship names and I just kind of like it took me a moment to just figure out where we were, what the implications of that was. So I actually don't have much to tell you other than that. I spent a lot of it confused and now I'm not confused essentially. So yeah. <laughs> I look like shit. I feel ill. My floor is creaky. I don't want to be here. Okay, can you open the door? Open the door, please. I'm not enjoying this as much as the first two. I still like it. It's still a minimum four stars. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a minimum four stars, but I don't know whether it's gonna hit the five stars. In the other two books, we're mainly in one setting or situation. And in this one, we're kind of half and half between two. And it's just not dealing with it as well, I don't think. And also, the thing I loved about this series is the pace at which this series goes at. Like, it's boom, 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 you know, super fast. And then in this one, it seems like every other thing is a surveillance camera or video footage. And that just reads like normal books right? whereas all the other multimedia things read quicker i just thought it's a much higher proportion i might be imagining it but i thought it's a much higher proportion of like surveillance camera descriptions um and stuff like that and that's always been my less my least favorite uh part of the multimedia so okay bye i'm not doing this any longer but bye okay so we're back again in the same position but it's the next night <laughs> i look <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, no, this can't be happening. And I was not gagged by her looks. I thought a lot of her runways, maybe I saw her like this. She looked awful. She looked mm. crusty and she looked sometimes oh. very busted. <laughs> and so I'm back quickly to tell you, I'm gonna finish it tonight and I'm enjoying it a lot more again. It might be a five star. Pretty much from when I checked in with you at halfway, from then on I was really into it. I think what the thing is, usually with these stories, it would take you about 150 of the 600 pages to like fully get into the story I felt. And um, because we had two storylines going on, it took 150 of each to truly get into it. But I'm on page 495 right now out of 615. So I'm gonna finish it really soon. A lot of these last pages will be really fast paced as well because we're kind of at the end. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it again. It might be a five star. Uh, <laughs> I've been struggling a bit in my, in my like personal life. Um, not really struggling, but just like not in the mood to read. Do you know what I mean? Um, just some like family stuff has gone on and uh, I haven't really wanted to talk about it on here. Like I was talking to Tom about it. He's actually, he's not here. He's had to go home because of it. Um, and I was talking to him about it. He was like, make a whole video about it, about how you're not reading. But like, I don't really want to do that because <laughs> I feel like it's not really my place to talk about. It. I just think it's important for me to point out as a reviewer, as someone who some people pay attention to what I say, um, I, I I don't want to paint a picture of it that a lot of it could be down to my personal circumstance, if that makes sense. I'm going to go finish this and hopefully I'll check back in with you with my final thoughts once I've finished it, but I feel really good about it. I feel like the ending is going to be fire and fire <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it again, which I'm happy about. So we move. I'm gonna go have some Cocoa Pops and finish it. You wanna come with? No. I'm very tired. So I don't think this is gonna go down well, but I'm giving this five stars. I'm giving it five stars. Fight me, just fight me. Like I'm giving it five stars. I, I, I enjoyed the ending. I enjoyed the ending. It was hectic, but I feel like it was a good ending to the series. I it took a while to connect to the new characters in this book, but I feel connected to them now. My favourite character of the whole series, we've met at any point in the whole series, is probably Ella, who we meet in book two. I really like Ella. I think she's fucking dope. She's so cool. Sorry, I shouldn't swear, but she's so cool. I'm giving it five stars. I don't make... No, I do make the rules. You don't. <laughs> reading um my highest rated books on my want to read has paid off well because we got another five star in the bank next we've pretty much got a guaranteed five stars i i'm not going to be giving us anything less than five stars like i i don't even need to read the book i could just rate it right now but i want to read the book obviously i'm very excited to read the book i might read like 10 pages of this you know just before i go to sleep like, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna go make a drink, I'm gonna go get comfy, and I might just read like 10 pages of this before I settle off to sleep. Because it'll literally take me like one minute to read 10 pages, so I might do that. Okay, so it's the next day. I have read, how much of Heartstop have I read? I've read this much. 100, 140 pages of it so far. I love it. I love it. And I love it. Some of my family members are saying, Megan, you, you mentioned Heartstop in every video, and I'm like, Tell me again what the issue is. <laughs> because I'm gonna say again, if you have not read this series yet, people, like you are just doing yourself a disservice. It is the best thing in the world. We are progressing through their relationship. I mean, I don't think anything, when you pick this up, it's called boy meets boy, 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 boy and boy fall in love or whatever it's saying. And so you know from the get-go, you can you know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a story of them falling for each other and um, figuring their sexuality out and stuff like that, you know? Uh, so I don't feel like that's a spoiler. They have gone on a school trip to Paris. It is reminding me a lot of my own relationship. Um, he's not here. Ah. <laughs> because they haven't been together super long, but they've been together like maybe a few months at this point. But when me and Tom had been together like, I don't know, three weeks or something. We uh, we went on a school trip together to Brussels and just the way like the teachers are acting or like the, the illustrations of them together on the um, the coach 
it's just reminding me of me and Tom. Like, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tom won't want me to show this, but he's not here, so he can't argue with me. If I scroll all the way back, I can find the picture of us sleeping on the couch. This is young Megan and Tom. You're gonna see me, you probably can't see that I'm blonde, but I was entirely blonde when we started going out because I'd just been pink. I'd been entirely pink and I had to bl just bleach out quickly. He's gonna hate me for this, but I really don't care. Can you see that? Look at us, aren't we the cutest? So, oh my God, he's gonna hate me. I don't think I can keep that in, but also he can't complain. Hang on, let me show you how blonde I was. This is fun. <laughs> I hated being blonde. I hated it. I really didn't think it suited me, but I always thought I was gonna go back to being pink. And I did the summer after, like partially. I never went back full pink. I thought I was gonna like, as soon as I could, like as soon as I was at uni, I was gonna go, you know, full pink for the rest of my life. But now that I've got the brown back, I can't bear to part with it, to be honest. That was me. Oh, hang on. Fully blonde. Can we believe it? It's just reminding me of being in Brussels with him, like really early on in our relationship. And uh, did everyone know about us at that point? I think everyone knew about us by then, but not everyone knows about Nick and Charlie. So like, it's just it's just really reminding me of my own relationship, and it's making me really happy. It's really sweet. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, not much to say, but I give it five stars. <laughs> Are we surprised? Honestly, it was just so magical. Their relationship is just like the best thing ever. And it's just, it's just so cute. And I just want number four already. It's a really, really special series. So pick it up if you haven't already. This is going great. The highest rated books on my TBR. We've given two five stars, but we kind of knew they were going to be five stars. Now, now it's the real question. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this. I'm not gonna lie. We're vi we've got very small font. And <laughs> it's not that short. So um, I'm gonna try and read quite a lot this evening, but I'm also gonna like take some breaks because I've been kind of forcing myself to read a lot and I don't wanna do that. So my hope is that I can get enough read tonight, but also do some other stuff, like play some Sims maybe, I don't know. Just do some other stuff that, um, that means that I like can then chill out a bit, you know. Um, but I was aiming to, I mean, I'm going to get to like a hundred page 100 tonight. I think I can do that. I think I can get to page 100 tonight. Delusion, <laughs> convince yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it's been a long time, a very long time. I think it's been about a week since I last checked in with you. I just have not been reading. With everything that's going on in the world, and God, this vlog has been going for so long, but like, just personally, I've been struggling, and that's the last thing I want to be happening in the reading my top rated books video, but like, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. So, I just haven't been wanting to read, and I don't think it helps that I'm not like super into this either. <laughs> I, it's been a bit of a week since I last checked in with you. So obviously I left my Leeds flat, my uni flat, and I was actually home for about two or three days, like my family home. And now I'm at Tom's family home, which is where I am isolating because, you know, this could be like two months. And so we made a decision that I would come around here and stay here and isolate here with his family so that we would be together during the whole um, isolation process. So... Yeah, so that's where I'm, I'm here now. And I feel like I'm about to get back into reading. Um, it's the bookie from when I'm filming this. And I think it will just be ending when I'm uploading. But it's the bookie trials weekender edition. And although I'm not going to be fulfilling the prompts. Because I'm trying to just get back on track with videos. And also don't really have any books at my disposal with me here. That fit any of the prompts sadly. But I'm going to be taking part in everything across the weekend all the sprints all the you know activities that they're running just not reading stuff that fits the prompt so um i'm hoping that that will get me really really into it in terms of the book let's just talk about this now um also hang on before 
<laughs> Wait, not yet. <laughs> With everything that's going on, like, do you want me to talk about it and how I'm feeling? Or do you want me to just kind of pretend it's not happening? Because when I'm watching booktube, sometimes when people mention it, I'm like, ah, oh, I wish you hadn't mentioned it because it reminds me that it's all going on. And if I'm watching booktube, it, I want it to be an escape. But also I don't want it to seem like I'm ignoring it all. You know, I'm not being super vocal about everything on Twitter. Um, just because I don't think I have the like emotional ability to do so. So obviously I haven't been reading, but there's been nothing about this book that's made me want to pick it up. I am just kind of bored. <laughs> there's nothing about this that's really exciting me. I'm not feeling very connected to the characters. As of yet, I don't feel like our characters have much depth. I don't feel very emotionally connected to them, which is surprising considering it is a story that I think rests on the emotional connection. And again, I know some of it could be me, but also when I'm going through a tough time, I usually want to read. When I'm very anxious, I usually want to read. It's very unlike me to go into this big of a slump where I've been reading this book for like three weeks now. Like that is ridiculous. It is late afternoon and I've been reading all day. I did not read a lot last night. <laughs> I got into bed and I was like, okay, I'll play 10 minutes of Animal Crossing and then I'll read. And that did not happen. Seriously. I've got big plans for this place. And I'm not gonna stop, yeah, till I get there. But I am on page 300 of The Nightingale, so I have about 140 pages left. I don't actually have a lot left. Um, and especially because it's the end, I'm hoping I'll get through it fairly quickly. I, I am enjoying it. Like, it's not bad, <laughs> but I don't get the hype yet. And... For me at the moment, it's sitting at a three star, not a two star anymore, like it's fine. And I feel like it could, if it has a great ending, it could pull itself up to a four star quite easily, but like it's not gonna be a five star. And I can say that now. I can say that now without a shadow of a doubt, it's not gonna be a five star. I like the intention of the book, the, the intention to show kind of women's role in war and how that's often hidden, how that's often not spoken about. We're following two sisters and sometimes their stories are together and sometimes their stories are apart. And I actually prefer Vianne. I actually prefer her storyline where hers is a lot more domestic. Her husband is away at war. She's looking after her, her daughter. Um, whereas Isabel, her sister's one, is a lot more action packed and she's, I guess, uh, committing a more overt role in the war. And I'm actually preferring the the writing and just the plot in Vianne's one more, which was surprising to me. I thought I would be preferring the more kind of like high stakes part. But I don't understand the hype. I don't understand how this is like the highest rated book on Goodreads. Shit. I finished it. I'll tell you more what I think about it in the morning, but I cried quite a bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I finished it last night and I think I'm giving it like four stars, maybe like a 3.75 if you're being specific, but I think the ending, you know, I cried so much that I just feel like I had to give it a four stars, but it's not quite a four stars, but it's close, you know? But um, I still feel like there were some parts of the story that didn't really grab me that I was just forcing myself to read so that I could be done with this video. And I don't understand why everyone gives it five stars. Do you know what I mean? I, do, I, I don't get it. Like I don't get why it's the most like highest rated book that everyone loves. I, I don't, it, doesn't, it didn't do that for me. I enjoyed it a lot. I cried a lot, but I cry at everything, let's be honest. So like, it's not that much of a surprise. I think maybe having read it for so long, not picking up for a while, maybe did hinder my experience. But also, I read the majority of this book yesterday and I still was not in love with it. I liked all the characters, I liked the relationships. It just didn't do anything special for me, you know? I think all the light we cannot see is better. It's a better equivalent and I will stand by that. So. I'm, a, I'm sad that this video couldn't all be five stars because that was kind of what I was hoping it would be, but you can't win them all. And I think I knew that this 
I may not love it as much as everyone else because a few people who who I often read some of the books to didn't love it. Like I know Kayla didn't love it from Books and Lala. So, oh well, we, we move on. We live and move on. I'm glad I've finally read it so I know what the hype is all about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd love to do this again, like reading the next three highest rated or I suppose if I add more to my uh, want to read, then different books will be added on there. So um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon in another video. I'm very excited to be filming another video that isn't this one. <laughs> anyway, bye. <laughs>